do some of the other ones. What do we not use very often? Let's do books. Books is good. Let's just do general inexplicably. And Pat Beach Invitational. I haven't done that one in a while. All right. Here, number eight. RBI Baseball. Two, three combined. Admit it all the way to number eight, you guys. I swear I started at number 100. For real. For real, for real. Let's minimize that. All right. The Mariners are playing hardball. I'm playing, I'm playing hardball, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. Matter of fact, let's play two. Let's play two. I'm ready. I got a mixed drink too. All right, I got a little, just a little fun here. Um, I started a little early today. So I, this is just a little fun um, while people are gathering because I did say I was starting at nine, so I just decided let's just do a little something, something fun here. Oh, uh, shoot. Where is the thing? Oh, there we go. Commercial. I haven't figured this part out yet. Just to get in the mood. We got we're going baseball. We're going full on baseball nostalgia back to 1989. Ah, two commercials. Ah, hate it. It's okay. Alright, it's okay. Let's just enjoy it. Let's just enjoy the ride. We got a lot of time tonight. Starting a little bit early. <laughs> you hate to see it. Yeah. We're just going to enjoy a little baseball. Um, circa 1988 World Series. This is how we're going to get ready for this. I just think it was a fun little, little video. I, uh, I told everybody we're starting at 9, but I'm ready. Eventually, I'm going to give you guys the conclusion of the Gaylord Perry quest for 300 wins. Um, we're getting ready for RBI 2 and 3 today. What in the heck? I might just not stick with this. If it's going to be like this. Are you for real? I might hit the eject button on this. I might hit the eject button on this. One of two? Forget it. All right. I'll, give you, I'll just give you spoiler alert. Dude just hits... He hits a homer. Kyle, uh, um, what was his name? Kirk Gibson. He hit a home run, and it was exciting. <sighs> Might as well just tell me that you couldn't couldn't save the file, or something like that. What a disaster! All right. Anyway, let's just get into the countdown. Now what? Now what? All right. It ain't gonna happen, all right? I hit the eject button on that. We're going. It's 848 already. We got some baseball to play today. So you see there, I had RBI Baseball 1 at number 11. A game that I never stopped loving. Um, I made the list before I joined the RBI League, which has been a bit of a debacle lately, but has illustrated some subtle things about that game that are quite good. But 
RBI. RBI one didn't have the Mariners. Let me tell ya. When RBI two came out and you could have all the teams. All we had at that point, we had the only, the only thing we even had. I'm just gonna let this Dave Niehaus thing go. So, in 1988, we had RBI Baseball 1, we had Tecmo Bowl, they each had players, real players in them. Um, at the time, our minds were blown. We, were, we couldn't really deal with how awesome that was, even though there wasn't very many teams, and on Tecmo Bowl, they didn't even have... 11 on 11, it was like 8 or 9 on 9, 8 on 8. But those were big deals. In 1989, we got RBI Baseball 2. And at that point, there had not been anything to that level yet. Um, it had all the teams. I'm just going to, I'm going to skip ahead. This is not the usual sequence, but... Let me tell you, when I rented RBI Baseball 2 and I brought this instruction booklet home, my life changed. That is the wrong one. Not a hot start. Here we go. Let me get it loaded up. Man, that was a dramatic moment. That just totally busted. You know what? There's a lot of sausage involved here. That was funny. Okay. Um... In RBI 2, they had an instruction booklet, and then you get to the end, and it showed you the full rosters of the teams. And for some reason, they felt they even put the full name, because I mean, RBI Baseball famously had you know, all these kind of weird looking names, like for guys that had long names, where they just stuffed all the letters in there. So they, they obviously took some feedback on that and decide, hey, let's let everybody know what the actual names of these guys are. I just remember looking at this being like, oh, wow. Because at, at those days, I didn't even know, like, the stats. Of play. Like, I was kind of, I said, oh, wow, yeah, Houston. Oh, wow, Glenn Davis, 34 homers. Wow, like, oh, yeah, Ka oh, yeah, Ka uh, uh, Calvin Biggio, I've heard of him. Oh, wow, okay, he hit 257, 13 homers, 13 speed. And then we had the speed thing, which wasn't even in the, they got these numbers. So it's like, oh wow, cool. There's, they really put a lot of, like, there's a lot of difference in the speed numbers. It used to be like A, B, C, D. I think, I don't even know if that was in the RBI instruction booklet, but then you're like, holy, sh holy crap. Look how many pitchers each team has. Whoa, Mike Scott. Oh, wow. Uh, Frank Tanana. Jack Morris. Oh, Doyle Alexander. Oh, wow, they got, oh yeah, those are the three guys I've heard of. Wow. Look at the Detroit pitching staff. And it was like, holy crap, this is going to be so much fun to play with all these teams and get to know. Because we had, the RBI teams, we had we had uh, basically, you know, just, we, we knew those teams up and down. Um, then RBI 2 comes out. I mean, it's got all the teams. It's got full rosters. I just remember specifically looking at this page right here and just somehow coming to an epiphany like, you know, it was like a whole new level for me. Just coming home, you know, I rented it and hey, the rentals didn't always come with the instruction booklet. This RBI 2 one did. And just looking at that and just, just couldn't wait to play it. But then the game was actually fun. Let's take a look at the RBI 3 instruction booklet here while we're... Of course I gotta find this, because I got this all decocked it. Um, for some reason, the RBI 3, they did away with the, the actual names. So that allowed them to stuff three onto one page. So I just went with this page. Houston, Detroit, again, just because you can see the progression for these teams. Glenn Davis kind of dropped off a little bit, but they got Stubbs in the mix. Biggio, um, kind of a nice little 
a little bit of speed. Is that Yelding with 19 speed? I don't remember that guy at all, but damn. Was he seriously batting sixth in this lineup? But uh, Daryl Strawberry is why I chose this page. The Mets were unreal. They were pretty stacked, but Strawberry is the best player in the game, in my opinion. Viola, David Cohn, Doc Gooden, Franco, Ojeda. They're, the Mets The Mets were supposed to be really good. I don't know, I don't know if they... I don't know what happened to them. They, they're, obviously, the Bobby Bonilla thing didn't really 100% work out awesome. But, uh, yeah, this, we, this, this was big stuff. Just seeing stats was a big deal. You forget how not readily available like stats and stuff were back then. You had to buy like an almanac, or which I did, or like some book that had all the stats, which I did. But before I got into that, this, these instruction booklets were big for me. Um, I never had RBI 2, but I, I did rent it several times. And then it seemed like RBI 3 came out like almost right away. So RBI Baseball 3 is uh, based on 1990. RBI 2, I believe, has the 1989 stats. So what's the difference between the games? Not a whole hell of a lot. Let's, by the way, shout out Dan. He wanted special points and he, he does get points in my book for ranking RBI 2-3 is a set. He's the only one who did. Not very many people ranked this game. Um, Dan says great gameplay, gameplay combined with the actual teams makes these games good, but what makes them stand out is the inclusion of historical teams and the ability to play a season in three. Nothing spectacular. Does everything done really well. And then number 36, Dan, I'm a little surprised number 36 so low. I'm just kind of curious, kind of curious how it ended up only 36. Just a little curious. That's all. Not like shocked, just curious. Um, yeah, the NES is fucking stacked pretty much. I know this, I know this now. All right, what about Campuna? He says, what RBI 3 has and no other game has is the actual teams and players from the season where my favorite team at that time, the Cincinnati Reds, beat the Big Bad Oakland A's. In this team, in this game, you could do a World Series with those teams. The authenticity of it is great. The gameplay, seemingly a little less smooth than RBI 1. Interesting. But more things are added and the players are more diverse. He goes on to say, I have fond memories of listening to the Star Spangled Banner as me and my homie Misha took our favorite teams in a best of seven World Series. Indeed, top notch. Top notch head to head gameplay being utilized right there. I mean, the Reds are unbelievable in this game. Um, RBI three. And yeah, it was a surprise for them to, uh, to win the World Series. I wanna try one more clip just for fun. I totally forgot about this. But the main thing is it's got the Mariners, man. They didn't have the Mariners in RBI 1. So this, in my opinion, when RBI 3 and RBI 2 came out, I mean, RBI 1 was basically dead to me. I did keep going back to it occasionally just because there was something about it. There was something about the aesthetic. It was just cool and awesome and still nostalgic from when I was playing that one obsessively, but I'm, I was pretty locked into these games. Um, turns out not very many other people were. It's just Dan and Camp who have it ranked. What? But still, number 26. So even though only three people ranked it, pretty high, ends up being the number 26 deal. So, um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, yeah, let's just take that off for no reason. Um, I don't know, I just can't understate the nostalgia of this era. I mean, me and Dan kind of just jumped into baseball, like kind of at the same time, and it just coincided with this game coming out. And I mean, it was just 
it was just such a fun time just to get into sports. And we had the we had Ken Griffey Jr., who was just he was like the perfect guy to have on your favorite team when you were trying to get into something. You know, like I couldn't I, there, we couldn't have been we could it couldn't have been more perfect at that time. I guess aside from maybe the Mariners winning something might have been a little bit better, perhaps. I don't know. But this was a super fun era and kind of just started an obsession with baseball for a long time. And, you know, it still still sticks with me. It still sticks with me even though I could go months without really following it very much. It still sticks with me. Um, so, what's going to be the challenge here? All right, I'm going to play both games. I'm going to win two games on RBI 2, two games on RBI 3, Mariners versus random American League opponents. Got to go 4-0 for the challenge. Here's the thing, because this game does get a little cheese, I am not going to be taking any extra bases courtesy of the CPU outfield having no idea what the hell's going on, because that is a major issue with this game. It almost kills the CPU playing experience because you just get all these extra bases in just very weak ways. And it, it's fun at first, but then you get good at the game and then you just start pounding the computer. And actually, if you if you don't do this strat, it's not that easy with the Mariners to win games, I've, I've decided. So we got a little bit of a challenge here. And then after that, I have to take two out of three versus Dan. So that's actually part of the challenge. Because that really was like 50% of this game's experience with me. It was just me as the National League, him as the American League, and we would just play. We would just play that matchup over and over again. I don't think it's, it was kind of a joke how much, how often we played that matchup. All right, that's good, but we're gonna have to run that back. Um, all right, is that enough? Is that enough? Gosh, we're in number eight here. I think we gotta get it going. Oh, here, let's just do this one last thing here. I, Cause I screwed up that first thing. I got, I had a backup plan actually and I kind of forgot about it. Um, so not a lot, a lot of hot moments so far in, the, in, the, in this. Let's just do one more little video here. Let's see if this works. Really don't need that at all. I'm gonna turn those notifications off. Why are we listening to Fallout Boy? What the hell? Another commercial, really, for this little clip? This is what? What is this crap? Okay, here we go. Okay, that was worth it. All right, there's a clip. There's a clip. The kid at his most kidness. Good times. All right. There's my multimedia experience for you guys. All right. I don't know how to get rid of this, but I need to. Hopefully none of that crap bites me in the butt anymore. And we are about... Oh my. Look at that. We are glitching hard today. Glitching hard today, fam. What? What? Yeah. What is happening? Okay, we're good. We're good. This is man. File not found, really. Well, that's right, because I changed the name of it. Cool. What is going on? We're at number eight, fam. We gotta we gotta crank it up. We can't be dealing with this. We can't be dealing with this stuff. I changed the name of it in case anybody wanted to join me for a little head to head. It's one of those sausagey things. If you watch any other stream where I manned up versus somebody, that was an effort to avoid the sausage. Instead, I only created 
more sausage. All right, number eight game, RBI Baseball 2 and 3. Check it out. It's 1989 baseball action. And wow, do we have Tom Player hard. How do you change it? Oh, start button. Okay, yeah, hard for sure. Com forfeit on. Let's just do that. I did not get the express written consent of shit. Sorry, Ellis. Ain't nobody going to watch this stream. This stream is already garbage. All right, here we go. Look at this. Okay, so here we go. Let's meet the teams of the Tangan League. They did not have the, they did not have Major League Baseball. They didn't have the MLB license. They only had the MLBPA. If you're going to pick one or the other, definitely go with the MLBPA. Because you could just name the teams whatever you want. And yeah, make them look like they do. All right. So I'm going to go with Seattle here. And I'm going to pick an American League opponent at random here. Um, but it's actually not going to be random because I'm just going to just say it. I'm just going to say it into existence. Um, let's go ahead and just go against the California Angels. As I wanted to dice parser it. Let's just dice parser it. Well, let's see here. Yeah, let's do that. All right, we got seven teams there and six teams there. So that'll be one through 13. I was, I don't, I don't know why I just abandoned that. Here we go. Here we go. Dice parser is thinking. Yeah, this is better. Okay, four is Detroit. Oh, Detroit. Okay, Fast Ed's team. All right. Detroit might be pretty decent. I'll never forget. Uh, it does help a lot, Lydia. Thank you. Uh, I'll never forget. Oh, this is the, I looked at this roster. They're pretty stacked. Definitely got to go with Hanson here. Johnson is right-handed. So that's a problem. You're going to notice a couple things of that nature about RBI 2 that are borderline negative sauce. Here, with, let's go with Hanson. Hanson, by the way, is an excellent golfer. He's won the uh, Seattle Amateur several times. He's stuck around. I don't know where he's from initially, but... Okay, let's look at this lineup. We got Harold Reynolds, baby. Let's play the Harold and Alvin song. Let's do that. that, that that'll that set the vibe. This is what we need. Right now, it's, a very, it's very silent in here, and that's not good. Why does Amazon Music just give me the big... All this, this the sausage factor has been high. And then it starts all crappy. Man, if we, there's been at least 10 major sausage moments. Yep, we got Griffey right-handed. We got Randy Johnson right-handed. Debacle is how I would describe that right there. But that just tell, that's what it was like growing up in Seattle. You can just tell nobody gave an F about anything that was happening out here. Um, guarantee they got all the Yankees and Dodgers right. Okay, let's check out. I don't know how good this... I don't think that the Tigers are very good, actually. Um, they got Lou Whitaker batting fourth, which is, that to me is a little concern. All right, here's going to be the lineup. I already thought this over. Um, gosh, I think I'm just going to take out Presley just out of principle. And attempt, and then Vizquel, I'm just going to play him. So this is another thing. They got Griffey at infield. So what the hell is he playing shortstop? What's going on here? We're going with Omar. And we're gonna not start Darnell Coles. We're gonna put Griffey in. This is a disaster. They, they got him as an infielder. I don't know who's the DH, but it doesn't really matter. I don't think it affects the game at all. So they're all just kind of out there, just being normal. And they're just letting you know what position they play in case you're curious. I don't think it matters. I think all the defenders are exactly the same on this game. But. That being said, I'm just going to let everybody know. Darren, you got a, you got a gift and a sub. Yeah, by the way, if you guys gift a sub, you add to your winning total, by the way, $10. If you win the game. Or if you're last place, Griff Smoke, you're in the mix for that. Okay, so what's going to be the lineup here? 
It's going to be Griffey batting second. Alvin batting third. Uh, we'll put Jeffrey Leonard, who had a good year, batting cleanup. Buner bat fifth. And we're going to just go Edgar, just out of principle. Uh, now, actually, let's go lefty, righty, lefty here. Bradley can bat eight. And Diskell is terrible. He's going to bat ninth. What is the gas factor? What? How am I angry in the RBI gods? Do I need to do something? Yeah, I don't know. This lefty, this righty grippy thing is not good. Is he a catcher? Oh yeah. Greg Biley. Greg Biley. Hey, by the way, I got a baseball mitt, which it's hard to play. By the way, it's hard to play with this. It doesn't really work. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Let's start the challenge. We gotta, we gotta do uh, four games versus the CPU, and then two games versus DT is gonna play against DT. What does that mean? Um, anyway, let's play the game. Let's play some RBI too. Thank you, Harold and Alvin. You guys are awesome. You guys were the best when the M's were the worst, and we are still in the debacle era with this lineup right here. Oh, Detroit, DT, DT, the Detroit Tigers. Okay, so no Cotto, I guess will be the pinch runner. Presley, I just don't like Presley because he held Edgar back. He was fine. It wasn't like a big dork or anything, I don't think. How's the mix? That Star Spangled Banner, man, that's an, that's an epic moment. If you don't feel that nostalgia right there, then I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry for you, you missed out. Okay, here we go. Frank Tanana is on the mound, and I'm switch hitting. I got Harold Reynolds. Oh, I don't need to switch hit. Let's switch him back. <laughs> Good times. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Oh, that is gonna be a problem. Griffey's batting right-handed. Oh my God, he's coming at me with the fork balls. Spits on it. Griffey's got a good eye. And for some reason, the computer has no idea what's going on. And this is the first instance of me not taking the extra base. I don't know if I would have made it. Good year for Alvin. Ooh, paints it. Okay. Wow. It's kind of scared of Alvin. I think I would be too. Taylor made double play. Not great. Not great. Yeah, these guys, they lost a lot of weight. This is what happened. Uh, Alright, let's see what Eric Hansen can do. They are not going to switch hit. They never do. Oh, he's got a nasty slider. Yeah, that's why I started him. I, you've never seen RBI 2? A dribbler. Could be trouble. Yeah, only me, Camp, and Dan ranked it. Yeah, this Tiger lineup is nothing special. Here comes Heath. I don't remember this guy at all. Have some of this slider, though, fam. Ooh. Heath. Yeah, this is RBI 2. It was quickly surpassed by RBI 3, and I didn't really play it that much, but... I also didn't want to not have it on the ranking. Oh, oppo drive from Jeffrey Leonard. It's going to be handled easily by the Detroit right fielder. Got Buner batting fifth. Great acquisition. They traded Ken Phelps for him, which is obviously a good deal. Um, Ken Phelps, though, underrated. Good, t Zach, you loved Ken Phelps. He was a great taker. He could take a pitch like nobody's business. He didn't really get his uh, his due because he um, they didn't, back in those days they didn't really care they didn't really care if uh, guys were walking it was all about the you know batting average and um, home runs look at this guy this is guys that are fifth hitter what was up with Detroit man they sucked have some of this slider fam back them up that's how we do it. Oh, see, I can't control this slider. The slider is tough to tough to control. 
Oh, they he cannot. Oh, Alan Trammell. Tough year for Alan Trammell. This slider is fucking nasty. Oh, wrong, wrong deal. Okay, 15. Okay, so I kind of got lucky with that. Dude. Are you seeing this? This is a nasty slider. We got Edgar in his rookie year. Not looking too sparky, but I bet he has some hidden stats. Because I bet the good people at Tengen probably had a feeling he was going to be good. Oh, have some of that. Oh, I, did, I wouldn't have started Bradley if I knew that it was a left-handed pitcher. Bradley notoriously weak versus left-handed pitching. That's the book on him. And we're just swinging at crapola right there. Mariner's looking to get a run here at some point. This guy's probably not going to be the one who does it. Oh, but I'm making Tanana work. That's a good thing. Oh! That's a special pitch right there. Oh, this Kel wants it. Tough year for Sparky, huh? Alright. Nine. We got nine batters, nine outs. Luckily, the Tigers' offense is just putrid. Look at that. We'll paint for you. Oh. Okay, Jones. Jones alert. Handled. Is this Fred Lynn? Well, Fred Lynn just ropes one into center field. Where... Oh, look at that. Defense. Ken Griffey Jr. is playing center field, just so you guys know. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Chet Lemon, an absolute beast on RBI 1. Called to back him up. Oh, my gosh. All I'm going to do is just throw the slider all day. It's nasty. There's some tip. Oh, man. They just. They can't. I'm just going to do that all day. I got cheat code over. They bring in Jack Morris already. Fourth inning. Let's switch sides. Harold Reynolds. Let's get something going here. Jack Morris came off not looking so hot in the. Uh, oh, here we go. No, nope. not looking so hot in the uh, the Dave Steve uh, documentary, which was fucking awesome. Dorktown. Come on, Griffey. We got to get something going here, fam. 89M's not bringing a ton of ruckus right now. Oh. Bats are heating up, though. Those are three pretty decent-looking bops. Not finding a happy place in the outfield, though. Meanwhile, Bergman. Soft penis. Ooh, even... Oh, did you see that? He's even got the... See if you can handle this. I don't really know how to deal with left-handed hitters. But luckily, Junior tracks all balls. And he's running for some reason. Yeah, that's, that's nice. The ump sounds great. This was amazing. This was a mind-blowing game. Oh, see, th there's a technique to the slider. I gotta pitch it, and then I gotta start. Okay, here's the guy who can really hurt me. I should probably just not pitch this guy. Would be a smart plan. Oh, well, luckily he's just roping things. Oh, see, look at that. That is a nasty pitch. Oh, have some of that. It'll drop on ya. It'll drop on ya. Let's take some pitches. How about that? Except that one. Didn't take that one. Took a horrible swing at it. In fact... Ugh. When will the offense start? Oh, nasty. Uh, we're having a little hard time getting base runners here. Man, that is brutal. 
Tough season. What up, camp? Playing RBI 2. I gotta win this game or else the challenge is over. Getting a little tense here. Luckily, Eric Hansen is just basically untouchable. He might be running out of gas, though. They cannot handle that pitch at all. He's running out of gas, fam. I'm gonna pitch to Jones, though. Cause I just do not fear Jones. I just don't fear him. All right, let's do a good, let's do a positive. Maybe that'll change things, change our fortunes a little bit here. Um, by the way, you had this highest rank camp out of anybody besides me. Um, let's do pro number one. Uh, I mean, basically, I've talked about this. I, it's just the biggest thing that ever happened. They at the time it was the biggest thing it was the my i don't think i to this point i did not have a bigger moment in a video game to just seeing all the teams available to me and by the way they had even more players in rbi which had four pitchers per team this this game has like nine or ten ten pitchers per team so awesome i mean just the 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 how much we just became obsessed with our, all the RBI original teams. We just thought it was going to the same thing was going to happen with RBI too. It didn't. Spoiler, spoiler, it did not. Because, you know, all the RBI team ones are, or RBI one teams are pretty legendary. They're all pennant winners and whatnot. Some of these teams are ass. Look at the Tigers. Look at the Mariners. But it's still pretty cool. We got Edgar at the plate. He's going to always watch the first pitch out of principle. Gonna need one of these to drop at some point. Boy, this is a uh, brutality. I think Viscal needs to eat some pitches here for the team. Nice, a ball. I got one hit. Going kind of bad. All right, and I think Hans is tiring. It's time for a new pitcher. See you later. I'm not messing around. Oh man, look at how bad the rest of my pitchers are. I got a right-handed Randy Johnson, and poof, Bill Swift, Reed. Reed had a good ERA. Jackson's the guy I trust the most here. Mike Jackson, Powell, five ERA. Scholler? Is that supposed to be Schooler? Trout, no relation to Mike Trout, and boy, look at how bad he sucks. All right, we're gonna go with Bill Swift here. I don't know, man, this is pretty bad. Hanson was dealing. Well, oh, he's got some good speed. I don't really remember that being his game. Well, the fastball went a whole one mile per hour more than the regular. Oh, this is a this is a hot regular pitch. Just beat him. Good lord, that fastball is just not a big deal at all. Probably should not be burning it like that. Oh, here, here's Mike Hedman. This guy was this guy was awesome. Yeah, have some 97. Let's get the lefty involved here. They took Morris out though, he barely pitched at all. Oh, here we go. Get through, yes. Um, yeah, once again, we're, we're not, I think that would have just been a single if the computer had any idea what the hell was going on. <sighs> what was it, a zillion? Wasn't a zillion percent sure he was going to get there. Also, it was kind of a slow decision. Enemy. Tossing it. Get down. Crap. Alright, that's cool though. We got a left-handed hitter here. And he gets through and that's going to... We're going to go ahead and take the base. I think Harold Reynolds... Had the speed, he would have got there, I've determined. 
I don't know why the third baseman was having such a tough time, but we're taking the base. Drop. I love the instant replay. All right, Buner, do something. Do something. Well, we gotta run. Love to see it. Might be all we get. Good times. Let's leave Swift out there. I can't believe how fast. This is the regular pitch for Swift. Giving Heath a hittable pitch. All right, big moment here. Well, the Detroit bats are icy. We got Gus just kind of awake right now. All right, let's go see how he's doing here. Be right back. Stick around, we got some fun to be had. We got some head to head with Dan. Stick around, be right back. Tinkle. So I was stressed out. Didn't know what to do. Didn't know where to go. Didn't know where to go. All right, here we go. I left my Mets hat up there. Shoot, I'll have to go back and get that later because we got to get back to the game. All right, Greg Biley's up to bat. We could use an insurance run. That's what I was going to hit B. Okay, here comes Gibson. Oh, yeah, this is a good, good take. You're welcome. Did that one for Zach. Get through. Come on, Briley. Spark plug. Let's go. Nope. <laughs> I'm just going to bail. That seems kind of cheese, but that's what we're going to do. That seems cheese. That's almost cheating. I should have been in there with the cheating. Okay, a bunt that might work out. Didn't mean to do that. Edgar not really known for a bunt, for a bunter. We're gonna bring in, Bradley's terrible versus left-handed uh, pitching, so we're gonna bring in Dave Val here to get it going. Much better catcher. Had a decent year for him. If he's hitting 237, you're happy with that because he's, he's basically terrible. All right, we're taking just a single here. 
Dave Val coming through. You absolutely love to see it. A little hit and run here. Hit and run is, should almost be outlawed. Oh, we're good. Gibson is kind of struggling a little bit. Man, I'll tell you, these bats are cold as ice. How many hits did I get this? I got five hits. That's pretty weak for RBI 2. Actually, I don't even really know what, what it's like for RBI 2. But I'm going to bring a new pitcher in here. I'm going Mike Jackson. Well, I always liked Mike Jackson. He's pretty solid. Dan, give me some Mike Jackson stats if you got him. Mike Jackson's got Pretty tasty slider, but not, not as good as air cans. Like, how many innings? I bet he had a shit ton of innings that year. With this horrible. Well, they just can't handle the slider at all. I mean, we're just, it's just cheese right here. Borderline glitch. That's just, we're just, we're just gonna get the win. Listen, fam. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot. Oh, who's this sidearm guy? Look at this guy. Dude, the animation is sick. Ooh, the fastball. Griffey right-hander is ready for it, but it's a weak grounder. Yeah, that's a great season. How many games did they win that year? 33 is kind of a lot of saves. Oppo. And we're just taking a single. Out of fairness, that's the thing. Also, I don't think we're going to hit and run. I think that's just, I've determined the hit and run is unfair. You cannot get thrown out. Leonard stays alive. Yeah, Leonard ain't going to beat that out. Leonard's slow as dirt. Slow as dirt. Loser. All right, very weak offensive performance, but luckily the Detroit defense is pretty much poop. Let's leave Jackson in there. Man, I really got lucky with the random. This team sucks. Also, this is just apparently a glitch right here that you can just do. There you go. You cannot hit that pitch. Let's just do it for the win. I don't know if this is going to work every time, so we're just doing it. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I didn't even know about that. This cheese, pretty weak. Um, kind of not that awesome of a deal, but we got it done. That's a win. Play Police Academy. I did not know. Is there really a Police Academy game? I've, I swear I've seen that a zillion times, but... Is there a Police Academy game? What? What? All right, so the CPU is gonna decide my random. What is the Police Academy game like? I mean, we got Bubba Smith on TAD. So we got our own little Police Academy game happening. Man. Yeah, those are cheerleaders. And then some sort of structure behind them, a refinery or something. Man, that was a crap game. All right, who's up? Who's, who's next? Minnesota. All right, Minnesota's probably a lot better than Detroit, like a lot better. I'm gonna save the state just out of whatever. Playing on an emulator, you guys. Let's do another negative. CPU defense is brutal, okay? Apparently so is the occasional glitch slider situation where they just cannot deal with it. Okay, so who are we going with? Bankhead, Holman, or right-handed Johnson? Who do you guys like here? I'm going to let you guys decide while I touch up my drink a little bit and also discuss what was the best Police Academy. I would assume Police Academy 4, but I, I have to think about it. Wasn't that Citizens on Patrol? That's the best one.
Citizens on Patrol by far. I saw uh, Pooh's Academy 5, something about City Under Siege. I saw that in the theater. It was pretty epic. It was a good one. So this, I think Police Academy 6 might have been straight to video. And then there was the one where they went to Russia. And I remember that one was terrible. Uh, first few are decent, but I feel like Citizens on Patrol, they really, that was like the apex of the franchise. All right. Did we decide Bankhead, Holman, or Johnson? Right handed Johnson. I think we got a. Uh, nah, six was, six was the one where they went down to Miami. And set the, the one where they went to Russia was not, they didn't even tell us what. It wasn't even, it wasn't, didn't have a number. All right, we're going with Bankhead. Miami was five. So four was under siege and three was citizens on patrol. Someone's going to have to Google it because I need to know. I'm going to continue with the stream. We're going to go with Scott Bankhead, even though I kind of have a feeling he sucks. Let's go. We, this, this, uh, this, this, this Minnesota offense is probably a little bit better. Okay, so there you go. Yep, no, four is, four is Citizens on Patrol. Miami is not under siege. Miami was a whole different one. Come on, guys. Police Academy the game. All right, let's stick with the same deal, even though this did not go awesome last time. Let's go with, I'm going to start with Dave Valley because of the, he's a right-handed hitter. 80 and 82. I thought maybe you were just learning about Police Academy for the first time, and that would have been disappointing. Um, this time we're going to go, with, uh, let's stick with Briley there. Let's go with Briley here. Uh, oh, Car I guess Coles is in the mix now. No, we're gonna go with uh, it's Kel still. <gasps> Out of principle, I'm gonna put Viscal in, and I'll bat him ninth. Valley gets to bat eighth. Only, only could um, only in the Mar Mariners lineup with Omar Viscal could Dave Valley bat anything but ninth. All right, let's go. <laughs> Just go ahead and throw that junk. I ain't gonna hit. I'm gonna swing at it. Bad. How is this eight? Like, are you saying it sucks or what? Here, Griffey's right-handed, which is should. That's almost a negative right there. He tried to position himself on the left and he threw it back to the middle good take right there get through yes okay we're taking the base on that one we're just we're taking you know, that's all we can get a double Gets through. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just stay at third. Out of fairness, I think. That was borderline. I don't know what I should have done there, but. Oh, drop. Nope. Um, so, what are you saying, Sammy? I'm not really following Sammy's thread here. Keep going with this. Okay, all right. So this he has a different type of slider. <laughs> so are you saying you this should not be as high as it is? Look at Bucket. He had a 3.39 average. Pretty solid. I don't know. I don't know. If Bankhead's very good.
Can't really find the rhythm. Well, it had all the teams. Ooh, swinging at some crap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But it's gonna go foul. You hate to see it. RBI 1 didn't have the Seattle Mariners. Listen, he had to be there. Oh, yeah. Went back. <laughs> I mean, RBI 3 is a maybe a different story. We're going to get into that. This is the last RBI 2 game you guys are going to have to watch here. To be f and honestly, I didn't really play RBI 2 that much. I probably played RBI 1 more. But I wanted to give RBI 2 some, some shine because it was a big deal when it came out. Dave Valley wants it. Oh no. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it, Air Rocky 5. So did nobody nobody actually like Googled the Police Academy stuff? I need a breakdown of all the games, okay? And also I think I might just take out Bankhead. Do this. Defense. That's why I put Omar Vizquel in there. Three is back in training, which was also good. Three and four are probably the two best, right? What's two? Maybe Bankhead's got a nice fourth ball you can get involved with. Oh, great. Gagney with the charge. Griffey's back there. I don't know about this matchup. This is, it's not looking awesome. I need a little bit more than five hits. Yeah, which one didn't have Captain Harris? Three or two? Because you kind of have to have Captain Harris. Get through. It's not going to. Darn it. All right, let's go right-handed, Griffey. Tear up this left-handed pitching. Good God. Griffey's still looking for his first hit here. Tough. I hope so. All right. I'm Seriously, this is Bankhead's last inning. He just sucks. In my opinion. Bring in right handed Randy Johnson. Somehow, when you get the fastball with him, it changes the dynamic slightly. See, they're not buying the slider like they were with Mike Jackson. Just mixing it up. I don't even know what I'm doing, honestly. I didn't, wasn't feeling it. See if we can get him to chase here. Struggle. All right, that's it for Bankhead. I was, he's not. He's not the answer. Who's Smith? A little speed from Smith. Come on. There it is. All right, I'm just taking the single. Hey, there you go. Destiny of Dragon Warrior. Big day for him. And Vandalay. Let's go. That's weak. Come on, Jeffrey Leonard. Let's go. Thanks thanks for that, by the way, Sammy. Sorry that you hate this game. But. He's out. Can't bunt. Foul. With two strikes. Here we go. So far, this game does kind of suck ass. If, we're, if you're watching this and you're not sure what RBI 2 was, you'd be very confused at what's happening. You'd probably think, kind of seems like it's crap. That's only because I got the Mariners, who uh, apparently is just a lot of soft penis all-stars out here. 
right-handed Griffey and the rest of them. Yep. This is Edgar Martinez as a rookie. He was actually really good at this stage, but he just didn't play very much in the big leagues. Okay, that we're gonna... Yeah. Dave Val with the bases juiced. Big moment. Let's see if he can come through. Oh, Dave Val with the poke. Oh, oh! <laughs> CPU with the error. Good times. Uh, Dave Val, been a monster. That was funny. Hopefully that's all that ever happens. All right, new pitcher. We're bringing in right-handed Randy Johnson. Let's go. Oh yeah, 78 miles an hour. Okay, so they didn't get this guy right at all. Let's see if he's got the cheese. Oh, he's got the cheese though. Let's see if the cheese works on Kirby. Yep. Listen, man, I'm just, I didn't say anything about this. If I got cheese to use it. Let's cheese him up. Wow, what is this? Is, this is... This should have been in the rule book. Oh, ball. Man. Listen, this is just one player, though. Okay. It's all about the two player, but I, I gotta have a one player challenge. Come on, right-handed Griffey. Let's go. Come on, right-handed Griffey. Right-handed Griffey. Could be trouble. Oh, it's a... It's in the corner. It's a double for right-handed Griffey. Alvin pulls it into the gap. We're going to go ahead and take home on that because I think Griffey would have scored. He would have scored. He's fast. Jeffrey Leonard had a little trouble with the uh, slow balls. Man, offense is not hot. Got one extra base hit, I think, in two games, so get excited. All the names are here. Wait, did I just screw up? No. All the names are here. They're not very good. Oh my goodness. This is how it starts. They cannot deal with this. Alright, we're just going to win the game in the dorkiest way possible. Hopefully RBI 3 will be better. I don't know. Well, that, I screwed up the pitch. See, you got it. there's still some technique involved. Okay, but I got a double play out of it, so worked out. That wasn't really worthy of a replay, I don't think. <laughs> you guys aren't enjoying this action? This is the top this is number eight. Great game. I'm not taking any extra bases. That's against the rules. Alright. First of all, I never swing at that pit. I had I just stole one. Yeah. Two player is a completely different experience. And one player is fine. There's just not a lot of juice in these rosters. Oh, what? Why are they leaving? Smith is having a tough time. Oh no, disaster. with a decent poke. I don't know. I, well, still has all the teams. I don't know. It would have been close. They would have had to spice it up somehow. There you go. 
dealing. Right-handed Randy Johnson is not great. Uh oh, Larkin alert. Special Agent Larkin. Or was that Bush? Oh my god. Disaster here. In the sixth inning. Let's see if the cheese comes up big here. The cheese coming up big. Come on, see if I can cheese him up. Oh, see ya. Uh -huh. There is some technique, huh? He took that pitch that I screwed up on. Here comes Baring. Here comes Tom Berenger. Great. Oh, 100 miles an hour. Okay. Tom Berenger alert. Peened it. Hmm. Somehow I got a piece of that. <laughs> They had something going there, but that, sometimes that just doesn't work out. Having a little trouble with this uh, fastball. Having a lot of trouble with this fastball. <laughs> I like how the computer always brings in their best closer in the seventh inning. The principal, yeah, Tom Berenger, exactly. Or was he the substitute? I think he was the substitute. You can see how you can get those con confused. Oh, then that see that pitch is devastating. Expecting the fastball. Ripped. Was it the principal or was it citizens on patrol? I have a little trouble getting around on these fastballs. I have a little trouble really breathing life into this game right now, but luckily it's almost over. Just so there's some added uh, excitement. If I lose this game, I'm gonna play it again. Right down the middle. Just so that there's some added excitement to these last couple innings. If I lose, I'm playing this again. And also I'm gonna start just randomly throwing pitches down the middle. Oh, not a good throw. Luckily Gary gaetti has got no wheels whatsoever. <laughs> Grip just wants the world to burn. Mariners Yeti for a homer. Okay, well, our RBI 3, they got a little bit more spice. Rippy's left-handed. Although, I don't know, Alvin Davis might be better than anything they got in RBI 3. I'm playing four games of this, then I'm going to play Dan best 2 out of 3. And hopefully that'll be actually pretty exciting. Penis. Yeah, well, maybe I should have sequenced it the other way. I don't know, okay? This is about, it's a retrospective. I have to explain, I have to show what the game is all about. Slow pitch alert. Oh, Greg Briley puts a charge into it. I voted at eight. The community voted at 26. Camp knows, this game's dope. Although this is RBI 2. I don't know if it's somehow worse than RBI 3 or what. Or what. Man, Dave Val's been kind of a factor. New pitcher. Jackson, baby. We'll see. Stream ain't over yet, fam. I'm just gonna glitch bitch Gagney because he actually did put a charge onto it. Also, Larkin can eat a big penis. Especially since I incorrectly attributed him that double earlier. And we're just gonna serve it up for Bush. Yeah, 
that's not a very good throw. All right, they got something. Here come the twins. Nope. Man, these are some seriously soft penis hits. Serious soft penis. Raleigh. Those raw dog. Those 521. Best op this is the best option. I'm gonna raw dog this guy. This is their third best guy. Nope. How about just the softest penis ever right to him? Sorry, Vizquel's not great. He's just in there because he's Omar Vizquel. Not take, I could get a home run right here, but I'm not going to. Harold Reynolds is fast. Hmm, not great, Bob. I decided not to throw out Reynolds in second, which could be a mistake. Alvin Davis hits it a zillion miles backwards. Have a little trouble with these slow pitches. <laughs> Getting a hold of them though. This is my last chance for Homer maybe here. All right, I'm just giving him, I'm just serving it up. Just to add some intrigue, I'm gonna serve it up from Mike Jackson. Here we go. Got him. Kirby. Kirby's been waiting for this moment. Question. Can you dive to catch a fly ball? Probably not. I think it has to be a grounder. Man, they are just not exactly tearing the cover off the ball. All right, Gary Gay Eddie, why are you betting third, by the way? You suck. Jumper. All right, well, that's, hey, I had to give RBI2 some shine because, why, by the way, I should have changed the graphics so that we knew it was RBI2. I had to give RBI2 some shine because, don't drink and drive kids, by the way, because, um, it was a really, really big deal when it came out. Okay. I know that it doesn't seem like it's very thrilling to play the computer, but it was a big deal. It was a big moment when it came out and you could have all the teams and when you play, and it, it's really fun to play a friend. I don't know. The computer experience doesn't seem awesome. I'll be, I'll admit that. Uh, RBI three time, baby. Let's go. Now we're in 1990. I'm, <laughs> I wrote down that code. Yeah. All right, here we go. Now we're playing RBI three, fam. Computer player hard. How about that? All right, let's do another dice parse. Let's go. Here we go. Get excited. Just thinking. Let's play Harold and Alvin one more time. Wow, dice parts are stuck. Tough. Just a disaster. Just an absolute disaster. This, okay, 10. I don't know, the first one didn't work very well. Okay, 10, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Kansas City. Okay. Okay. Kansas City is kind of a salty cracker on this game. Have you guys ever heard of a guy named Bo Jackson? Mm hmm. So, as we get into RBI 3, RBI 3, another reason it's awesome is because now we have all the pennant winning teams from the past that you can play with. How cool is that? Very cool, in fact. <laughs> Uh, and let's just get into some of these positives. Jumping and diving, okay? Did not have that on RBI 1. A little bit more defense you can bring to the party here. Which I think adds a lot to the gameplay. All right, Kansas City. Could be tough. Only 75 and 86. All right, pretty shitty. All right, we're definitely going with Hanson. Johnson's left-handed. That's another plus. So they're really improving things. So we got Matt Young out here. Let's go. 
Matt Young. Let's go. Oh, they got Kevin Apier, Brett Saberhagen, Flash Gordon, Storm Davis. They got a pretty nice rotation. How did they suck so much? All right. Going with Hanson. All right, let's check out this team. How come Harold and Alvin's not playing? What the hell? Harold and Alvin. <laughs> Harold, oh, Al, Alvin's the DH here. Griffey Jr. Batting cleanup? I don't know about that. And Buhner is listed as an infielder, which is a concern. Danny Tartable on the bench. All right, O'Brien well, doesn't get to. He sucks. And Cotto, once again, does not. I love Henry Cotto, but he's, he's not in the mix. So, what lineup makes sense here? Alvin Davis. Let's go with, I guess, Leonard as the DH. And Alvin playing first base. We have Buner first base. Disaster. He's outfielder. All right, so, lineup. We're going to go with Edgar at second. He's now good. One year later, he's good. Buner gets the bat cleanup. Davis batting fifth. Briley sixth. Leonard seventh. Valley eighth. Vizquel still ninth. Eh, Vizquel's probably a little spark here. Eh, no, we'll still... We'll... Yeah, we'll go with this. Even though it doesn't make a ton of... Buner's probably not good at this. Yeah. Who's my favorite part? You know what? Screw it. Um, Leonard, Leonard, is, Leonard was not good at this stage. Cotto brings speed to the party. He's in there. And we're going to actually move him all the way up to here because so we go lefty, righty, lefty. That'll give them something to think about. Harold, still bad at first, even though he's really not good anymore. He was pretty much done being good at this point. Slow, respectful fade for the main attraction. That's the name of this band. That was more loud than I usually play the song. So, really, just a lot of sausage out here in these streets today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's play baseball. Buner did hit the, the cycle 1992, I believe. That was the only good thing that happened that year. They sucked really bad that year. All right, Kevin Napier. Uh oh. Okay, that's a ball. So, okay, so RBI three. Little brighter. Subtle changes. Little brighter. Music is definitely spark here. Let's see if the gameplay is a lot better or just not even noticeably better at all. And this is the one I actually played a bunch of. Oh, no, that's not going to drop. KC looks pretty dang good in their baby blues, you got to say. Take it. I want to ape your out. Griffey Batten from the left side of the plate. Ape your painting the corner. Oh, for some reason the computer just totally confused there. They didn't get the ball. We're not taking advantage of the outfield being crappy. And once again, we are going to just do that. And for some reason the computer outfield just doesn't know what the hell's going on. We're just going to take the single. Mercifully, oh, Alvin. Why did I, and there's only two, there's two outs. Alvin Davis with a big poke. All right, George Brett, solid year. Ooh, look at how fast the computer's moving around here. What the hell? I'll take that. Wilson, he's not going to switch it. I don't remember the... 
computer seems like they're moving just lightning quick in the in the batter's box. I'm out of sync. Wilson's gonna get that easy. Wilson's got crazy speed. Eisenreich batting third. I'm guessing that wasn't their real life deal. Oh no. They did not take advantage. They could have got third easy. All right, here's Bo Jack. Hmm. No cheese here from Eric Hansen. I'm just going to have to go to the heater, I think. Uh-oh. Bo Jack. Bo Jack. Oh, they did <laughs> They were tagging up. Huh! What a struggle. Hmm, I'm not out able to use the cheese strat pitching. Oh, but they swung at that one. What is going on? I don't remember them moving so quickly. Well, they should have had a run there, but they got nothing. They got absolutely nothing. I just realized what happened. I just realized what happened. When I was playing this before, to get ready, I had it on easy mode. So the, the hitters are moving around all quick and stuff. That's part of the hard mode aspect. All right, how could you, how do people miss RBI 3? Kato in the mix. Welcome to the stream, Travis. We got Greg Briley up to bat. Hold on, let me do let me just do the quick Greg Briley impression. Okay. We're done. Greg Briley was awesome, by the way. Oh my gosh. 2004. We got Dave Val in the lineup for reasons that are unclear. Oh, that's right. There is no better option. And that's why he played. He was a good catcher. It's important to have a good catcher. Dave Val wants it. He's actually been awesome in this stream so far. 89. Hey, look at that. He's a hit machine. He's a hit machine. Sammy, you got to catch the end of it. We're going to have fun later when we go head to head. You'll see. It'll become clear to you at that point. But yeah, playing the CPU is a little bit brutal. It's a little bit brutal. I mean, for some reason, the CPU's defense is just ass. It's just ass. I'm gonna at you later. I'm gonna I'm gonna put at Sammy Smith 33 in the Tad Chan. He's gonna catch it. Damn. All right, McFarlane, the catcher. Yeah, I remember this guy. Man, hard mode is no joke. So I I will say I did play, I actually lost versus the computer in the warm-up. Um, I played the super team with me, Mike, me, and those guys. And uh, yeah, they hit a lot of homers. Does anybody know what the hell I'm talking about? You can play the developer super team where they all have supercharged stats. And uh, yeah, they're really good. I used all the glitches to get a bunch of runs, but it wasn't enough. They won like 16 to 14 or something. It was crazy. That was with the Mariners. I felt pretty good about just putting 14 on the board. All right, I guess I'm stopping it first here. Oh, Oppo. Stopping it first. I mean, they look. it looks like a baseball game. Oh, we got a real rally music here. Kevin Apier is dealing, though. Oh, he left one over the plate for Jay Buhner on that one. Ah, oh, I was just thinking he was going to go outside there. It didn't work out. Oh, that one didn't dip. 
Yep. Good take. Good take, Zach. What? How did I miss that? I'm gonna need to run at some point. Let's go. Oh, come on, Henry Cotto, you big chode. I mean, so let's get into another negative here. I don't want to do that right now. Let's get, let's let this breathe a little bit. You guys, for some of the haters out there, I think the RBI three is way better. Actually, it's very subtle. How about first of all, the computer on hard mode is I don't know. They're like dancing around all crazy. There was some haters in the chat camp. We had some hoes in this house. But, the, you know, it's, it really is about those battles. The one-on-one -on -one battles. Unable to use the cheese. Wilson, not gonna get there. Not this time. Maybe, I don't know, they weren't RBI 1 truthers as so much as like, just watching some bad, some bad action take place. <laughs> to be fair, there was some sauce of a weak nature that was taking place on the stream. Just a lot of soft penis. Right, oh, this game rocks hard. It's my number eight all time game for the NES. Dave Val reaches out for it. Slaps it to short. Oh, that's not gonna do anything cool. Oh, <laughs> or maybe. Yeah, you were too low though, Dan. Alright. Eric Hans has been kind of a struggle, if we're being honest. Uh oh. Oh my god. Jim Eisenreich. I actually don't know how to strike out the computer, which is a problem. It's probably going to rear its head. Except for one of them's. I guess we'll pitch to Bo. That was a horrible pitch. Not what I was trying to do at all. The sights are... Cannot really find it. I'm having a little trouble finding it here. But we're, we're surviving. Need to get a hit at some point, I think, would be good. No, oh, it gets through, but we're only taking one. It's tough when you can only take one. If you're used to playing this game versus CPU, you know that you could just get hella bases. Griffey with the big poke, but it's not gonna get it done. Get through. Nope. Debacle. This is a bit of a yikes. This is a bit of a yikes over here. Yeah, 20... Dan only had a 30, 36, which is pretty weak. I'm actually a little bit taking it personal. That he only had it? Oh yeah, get that before it goes out of bounds. Because we had some battles. There are some good games for the NES though.
Mm. Yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. I'm trying to showcase all these games as one player. I, I thought it was a little bit better than this, honestly. I don't know. I'm playing hard mode, though, and I kind of feel like the CPU is giving me some shit. I'll stick with Hanson, I guess. I'm going with the new picture. I got five at my disposal. I'm going to a start, man. Let's go with Comstock. Let's do the Comstock load. I just like this name. Comstock. All right, yeah, I had to bring the lefty. I feel like the lefty, lefty, righty, righty thing is big on this game. But I really haven't really figured out anything versus anybody. What up, Kev? There's just another just soft penis. That was so soft, he got on base. Wilson's got two infield hits in this game, and Eisenreich's been pretty decent. That sets up two two batters, or two base runners for Bo. And this is the guy you gotta be concerned about. Bo's not even fast on this game. He has got a big bat, though. Yeah, I, my lighting kind of sucks. This is not the permanent deal, though. We're still in flux, still building shit over here. We get far, 198, okay. Just still just an outfest. Taken, taken it. Drop, single. The rule is here, Kevin, I'm not allowed to take the cheese dick extra basis. So it's actually making it quite tough because that is a big factor. Eh, I don't think he's going to make it. No rule against that, though, which is pretty cheese. Mm. Oh, they didn't take the... They could have got the double play easy there. All right, Edgar with a chance to drive and run. Let's go. No. Oh, they're just being dumb. Holy crap. All right, CPU still has ways to F themselves. Oh, Griffey wanted to jump all over that pitch. Oh, what? Staying alive. Soft penis. All right, still got a zero zero game here. Let's let the comp stock load. Face a couple more batters here. Oh, we got problems. We got problems. We got problems. We got problems. Kevin sights her with sight lines. Is that the first homer we've seen in this whole stream? Yikes. All right. I might not have another grippy at bat either. Can't lose both RBI challenges. That would be super sad. All right, let's see what we got here. Montgo oh, Montgomery, this guy was nasty. I'm really confused as to how Kansas City sucks so bad that year. That would have been maybe a home run. <laughs> Oh, come on! Oh, come on! No! Oh, what?
Oh! We're gonna take two on that one. I think that could have been a double. That's it though. Oh, why are they throwing it to second? Oh, it doesn't matter. Funer's really slow. Wow. Wow, Dave Valley in the big spot here. Oh, oh, that would have brought them both home. Oh, Dave Valley gets it done. Ah! I'm gonna stay at first though, out of principality. <laughs> Dave Valley, let's go! Come on, RBI Baseball Three, get excited! Now we got this happening. Oh. <laughs> Down in the valley there lived a man, you know it. Alright, new pitcher, let's go, uh, let's bring in Jackson again. No, Swift. Wow, Swift's got crazy movement on his pitch. Slow, he was insanely, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. George Brett at bat. Oh, that was a tense moment right there. That was Steve Tensey tense moment right there. I really don't know how to get left handers out. Come on. <laughs> oh. I didn't write this guy's been a thorn in my side. Wow. Wow. All right, let's get some insurance runs, baby. McGaffigan! Who's, what's this guy's actual name? Oh, did not need to swing at that pitch at all. It was straight garbage. Soft penis to the shortstop. Come on, Griffey, let's do let's do something, baby. Hmm. Hmm. That was a hittable pitch. Oh, Griffey just wants it. That pitch was a ball, but Griffey bounced it into the corner. He's going for two. No, he's not. Oh my goodness. That's just embarrassing. Alright, let's get some insurance runs here. Come on, Alvin, let's go. Nope. Alright. Should we leave Swifty in there? I'm going to. I think he's got something for Bo here. Wow, soft penis. Kevin Seitzer, who had a jam earlier, and he just soft penis is second base computer. <laughs> soft penis. <laughs> oh, what a way to end it! Whoa. Exciting. <laughs> All right, computer's gonna randomly decide my last opponent to beat this chat. Yeah, that was kind of exciting though. Dave, smile. Just smile. Next game, uh, the code kind of looks like Frog Race. Anyway, I had 15 hits in that game, so there you go. Something. I don't really know how to strike out the computer, which is a problem. And it's Detroit. Back with Detroit. Back with Jack Morris. All right, let's go with Matt Young, even though, eh, let's go with Randy. 
Let's go with Randy. All right, this is the last one. I got to beat this, and then I get to play Dan. Okay. What was my lineup? Let's stick with the same deal. Oh, they, did they remember? Uh, yeah, Riley. Yeah, okay. All right, Tigers did not suck completely. They got Mosby. They got Tony Phillips. So they got set. This was your Cecil Fielder went off, right? Was this his big year? And then Travis Fryman is lurking as well. Okay. All right. All right. Cecil Fielder, welcome to the big leagues. Immediate impact alert. Oh, baby. Bring it. I am not DT. Once again, confusion reigning on the stream. I am not DT. DT is the Detroit Tigers. But I also am DT though. Like that's my name and stuff. Stop penis. Out of principle, we're taking every first pitch with Edgar. Slappy. Hey. Alright, come on, let's get a big A B with Griffey here. Taken all the way. Get through. Nope. I'm in grind mode from the beginning here. I don't want to deal with the Tigers. Tigers look like they might be kind of feisty. Alright, we got left handed Randy Johnson on the mound. Oh no. Not a good start here. Not a good start. Mosby gets down the line. Decent. Tony Phillips. Did Tony Phillips not a great year? He was kind of an amazing player. Aye. Alright, let's see what Cecil Fielder brings to the party. Really? Oh, 51 dongs. Wow. 51 was a... 50, that guy, he might as well hit 80 in 1990. People were not hitting massive amounts of homers. Although, I think Kevin Mitchell had 47 the same year. But a guy hitting 51 homers in 1990 was insanity. We were just flabbergasted. Especially since he wasn't even... On, he wasn't even like around. He was like, like this was basically like a rookie year for him. Cotto trying to get aggressive did not work out. Oh, they just they they got the book on Cotto. He can't lay off the the fork balls. Oh, and then you hit him with the fastball and he's just toast. They got the scouting report, but I got the big unit. Here you go, Omar. Nice, nice throw. Cut the head off his girlfriend's cat in front of Daryl Strawberry. Hmm. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. I don't really know how to strike out the computer, which is a bit of an issue. When I was playing them on easy mode, I was kind of having a bit of a strikeout fest. That's cool. I bet he was a good teammate. Just a bit of a chopper offer. Jack Morris, one year away from being the hero for the Twins in the World Series. Shakey's Pizza 451 performance in 1990, though. Dave Val has been, speaking of heroes, Dave Val has been the man for the Mariners. Uh, that one does not drop, though. 
Omar, switch hitting superstar. Ball, 96. He can still bring it. Omar's got speed. He might be able to get this one. Yep. Come on, let's go, Mariners. Let's get something going here. Get these little speedy guys going. Nope. Dipping. I'm dipping, son. That's not gonna be nothing. Harold Reynolds batting first is a bit of a dire situation. He is not a great player in 1990. After kind of being the man in the 80s, his reign is over. Starting to move my second baseman there, but yeah, that went way over his head. Fry, yeah, look at Fryman. Solid 297. Gives him a pitch to hit, no problem. I got problems here. I I don't really know how to get these guys out. Trammell's back on his bullshit. I played him in 89, RBI 2, and he sucked. Pretty good year in 1990. This could be hard. Gotta get to Jack Morris. Oh, another error. Come on, Edgar. Hey. 642 ABs, wow. Neat. It's a lot. Uh, gives me another cheese pitch to start the AB for Griffey. Mm. I'll tell you what, it is actually not easy to hit the ball when they give you the, so the slow pitch, then the fast pitch, then the slow pitch. Swinging at bad pitches, though. Mariner's not hot. Not hot at all. Luckily, their two hitter hit 248. Oh, so you're talking shit. All right, we got a base runner for Cecil. Walk his ass. Oh, the one triple is pretty cool. Not known as a speed merchant. Oh, they're out. They're out on Morris. Here comes Petri. Don't remember this guy's first name. Mm, he's got that shit to deal with. Hundred and eighty two strikeouts is kind of a lot. Jay Buner's blushing at that stat. What's Petri's first name? It says it's dumb, is it? Is it Poopy Poopy McFarts? It's probably not Poopy McFarts. Come on, Dave Val. Nope. Mayor's still looking for a run here. Got to get this challenge. This could be hard. I don't know how to get them out besides just throwing it to them and hoping something cool happens. Like, my pitching is just basically nothing. I got the big unit out here. Just serving it. Luckily, Jay Buner tracks that down, no problem. Well, that was a quick inning. Helpful towards the cause. Pretty brutal. Oh, another error. Love it. Get back. Got that. As long as it's not a fastball, he's got it. Go, Junior. 
Junior in the spot, the guy you want. Mm. I think there's two outs, right? Yeah, of course there is. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna stay at third out of Principality. Damn. Oh, didn't matter. Okay, wow. Junior gets to score on that shit because it's a single to left field and he's fast as fuck. Wow. Wow. CPU. Fielding is a concern. Man, just not even running on two outs almost cost me the game. Rookie shit. Let's do another negative here. Um, even though we just maybe got some nice friends. I'm going to say the atmosphere is a little bland. There is something to be said about... I, I never liked the tarp in the outfield. Okay? It's a little bland. I expect a little bit more. Like other baseball games, like extra innings came out a couple more, a couple years after this. So much stuff happens in that game. Like bad news baseball. There's like all the fun little cutscenes and stuff. It's a little bland. Expect a little more. There's fun, uh, the other baseball games, fun stuff happens. Dusty Diamond, All-Star Softball. You know, even Legends of the Diamond has weird shit that happens in there. Um, that stuff is kind of needed, I think, for a baseball game. There's a little... A little gold glove action there from Alvin Davis. Get some of that. Hand him in time. Mm. Hand him in just serving up some meatballs here. Super Baseball 2020 has dope. Up. I mean, it just feels that game feels exciting. That game's fun. At least versus RBI 2, it has better music and uh, seemingly a little bit more tempo and stuff as I ground in a double play. I mean, like, this is, it has okay, there's, it's okay. I just want a little bit more. It would have been nice if it had a little bit more. Obviously, Base Wars has all kinds of attitude. Look at these soft penis hits. All right, what do you got, Cecil? Nope. Grippy's got this one under control. Whitaker batting fifth. Just an off year for him. Thanks, Travis. Base Wars is fun. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna ha we can't judge this game until me and Dan play. And hopefully Dan brings it. Hopefully I win this game. So I can at least say. Yeah, we're gonna see which ones of the we that is on my radar. That is on my radar. There's been some good ones lately. Oof. Yeah, the contender ones. Jaws was excellent, first of all. First of all, Jaws is fun. Second of all, the stream was pretty good. Okay. Probably not going to be very high on the list as we get a double play. Stro, go bus. I see you, Nunez. Mm. Hey, man, I know some are better than others. All right. Shakey's Pizza. Somehow they only have two hits, despite the fact that I do not know how to strike them out. At all. Dark. 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 
Look at that pitch. Got one. After I claimed I did not know how to strike him out, I got a strike out. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Let's go get Fryman out, because screw him. Get some. All right, let's go, Griff. Here comes Gleeton. Looks like their bullpen didn't suck total ass based on their ERA. Griffey, I don't, I think, Griffey, I don't think went very, uh, had a very dope day. He did score a run on an error. Junior batting fourth. But yeah, these first four games have been a bit of a yawn fest. Game three was die. So I'm not I'm gonna own that. Listen, man. I, I was here. I seen it. But just stick around. After this game, me and Dan are gonna link up. Hopefully have some fun. 79. Well then. Tough inning here for the Mariners trying to play add-on. Three, four, five hitters up. You expect there to be a little more fireworks than that. All right, let's bring in Schooly D to close it down. 225, that's probably not what actually happened. Ooh, you like that? Oh, how does he lay off that? Service. A little Scott service right there. Ooh, yeah, you like that? Can he get to this one? I didn't even make one jumping catch all day. Good throw, Edgar. All right, last batter. Mm, Phillips, uh oh, sets it up for Cecil, who could tie it up in one swing. He could tie it up in one swing. to charge into it, but I think Jay Buner's got this one, fam. Wow, okay, well, cool. All right, let's see if I can take two out of three from Dan. That was a bit of a disaster. I, I couldn't even strike him out, barely. I had like, what, one strikeout. I struck him out one time. Disaster. All right. Dan, do me a favor and host this-ish so I can get the entertainment going here. No, 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 no. We're going to get it going here. Travis, you're going to at least catch a little bit of it. Don't really need an NSV, I don't think. Uh, trying to get this going. So yeah, basically, the reason this game is high up is because me and Dan used to play this against each other, and it was really fun. Not because of the computer, although I didn't hate playing the computer. I don't remember sucking quite that much. I guess I'll take first player to start here. Oh, 
Okay, we're going best two out of three here. All right, so this is what we did. This is what we used to do. It was just... We never switched up the teams ever. And I do not... I think I always started Dennis Martinez. What? Who's a regular Martinez? Who's the regular Martinez? Not Pedro. Help me out, Dan. Who, who is the... Uh, who is that? Who is that? I gotta know. I gotta know. By the way, Ernie Banks threw out the ceremonial first pitch. Ramon Martinez. For real? What? Yeah, Sin Oak, Sin Oak is great. That's I'm really happy that that's what you guys did. So who did I use, usually play? Mostly Dennis Martinez, right? I wouldn't I wouldn't go with uh. Who, I don't even remember Armstrong's first name. He was I. He was a red, right? Jack Armstrong. Yeah, I always went with Dennis. You would, did you always go with Dave Stiver? We can, you could play two starters if we want. That's within the realm of the rules. Yeah, and we're probably gonna go with two starters. All right, let's play. Oh, the lineup. He's got Ricky Henderson. Oh boy. All right, so Barry, what was my lineup here? I know I put in Barry Bonds. Wow. Also, there's Williams. Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah, no back-to-back. -back. Okay. Wow, what am I doing here? All right. Probably Sabo out for Bonilla or Williams. I think I used to play Matt Williams, right? And then definitely stick with Sandberg, Mitchell, Dawson. I think I'd probably take out Dykstra for Bonds. And then... Wow, I don't remember. What's up? What up, Daniel DV? And then Strawman is my guy. All right, so I think we would go with Bonds, Sandberg... Strawberry, Mitchell. How does that look, Dan? Does that look all right? Look at your lineup. Do you think it's what we used to do? I could have swore I had, I had Bonilla as my main pinch hitter guy but yeah i think this is what i would go with bonds leading off pretty sure i don't know maybe did i had like will clark inexplicably batting second or something i don't know all right good luck let's play playing man versus man this is where the intensity should crank up quite a bit we'll see Got Dave Stipe, Dave Steve on the mound. He's gonna serve it. Oh, what? <laughs> what's going on? Oh, I was expecting that exactly, but it didn't dip on him. Oh my gosh, he's serving it up. Thought he might get aggressive here. Daryl Strawberry, this is my guy. This is why Daryl Strawberry is my favorite player in this game. Because he's the main guy for the National League and this is the only team I ever used to play with. Gonna be easy. 
Easy. Easy. Kevin Mitchell batting fourth. He was Cecil Fielder-esque with his power. Oh, look at Ricky. Seiko batting second. Seiko hits it to right field where the straw man is waiting for it. Griffey Jr. batting third. He's getting that bunt strat squared away. Griffey with the oppo base knock. Uh oh. He does have Cecil Fielder. I wasn't sure he did. Oh. Well, threw it to third. Not great. And Cecil rips it. We got problems here, folks. We got problems. Cecil with the drive. Mark McGuire coming up. We got an RBI for the American League. All right, Dan, coming out strong. But Matt Williams is just blasting that foul. Matt Williams really wants it right now. He's crushing the ball foul. That one is way off the mark. The Hawk. Could fly into the mix here pretty soon. Nope, he's gonna hit a weak. Oh, it's the hawk pretty quick. And I just kind of liked Will Clark, so he's in the mix. It wasn't an awesome year for him, but he's in the mix. Solid player. This guy used to crush me. Gruber used to crush me. Box getting some love. Oh, you can dive and snag it. Okay, web gem alert. Let's go. Then Lance Paris. This guy was pretty good in real life. Definitely worthy of the all-star starting lineup in 1990. Benito Santiago. I always remember about Benito Santiago, the uh, that, that awesome Sports Illustrated cover. That could be trouble. All right, Benito. Let's see if we can get something going. Strawberry. I don't know if that was a good idea. Cal Ripken getting some love. You love to see it. All 
No, no random runners. Uh, no random. Just guys just sort of ambling around. Oh, Ricky Henderson. Oh my goodness. Ricky Henderson with the blast. Oh my. I was gonna say I don't. I like that there's the shortstop and second baseman aren't just ambling randomly sometimes when there's a grounder, as it is an RBI one. That's a nice little fix for this game. Alright. I don't know if Dennis Martinez is really bringing it right now. Dan seem, seemingly just picking it up. Deal with Griffey this time. Mm, Steve starting to lose some mustard here. Oh, nice. Nice play. Yeah, Steve. Steve is struggling. God dang it. God dang it. Dang it. Man, Steve is struggling and I did not touch him up. National League. Let's get it going here. Dan isn't pick, playing RBA in ages. Ah! <laughs> Debacle. Alright, he's bringing in a new pitcher. He's got Doug Jones, Matt Olson. Is it Matt Olson? Fastball alert. Fork ball alert. Having a bit of an issue here. The wizard. That ain't going to drop. It's going to be easy out. Oop, I just skipped. Skipped halftime, fam. Dennis Martinez still going strong here. Anytime you get a catcher to hit 24 dongs, you know you got something good. Dennis starting to settle in here. Get a run or two here. Bonds is probably gonna run this out. Yep, he fast. Olson knows what he's capable of. on display. Went for it. Oh! An oppo smash! From Daryl! 
Olsen getting touched up here by the NL All-Stars. Wow. Daryl. Daryl. <laughs> Olsen looks good, fam. Oh, peened it. Let's run for a second. Major penis. Ah. Dawson going to get a double here. Maybe I might have to take out Olsen, fam. Just saying. The big bats of the National League coming up big in the sixth. All right. Go with the new pitcher here. Let's bring in the nasty boys. Start with Brantley. Jeff Brantley. Branting him up. Canseco hits it a mile in the air. Something to think about. Griffey Jr. in the spot. Toaster Strudel. Brantley doing his job. Don't leave Olsen out there. Olsen looking around. Don't let Benito touch him up. Don't let Benito touch him up. Gotta take Olsen out. He's having a hard time. Johnson? I don't remember Johnson. Got a little ahead of that one. <laughs> like a lot ahead of it. Johnson does his job. <laughs> All right. Brantley gets the face one more batter. Oh, he spits on it, but it just they. It's a called, a called strike. Looked a little low, but it's a called strike. <laughs> Comes Rob Dibble. More nasty boys for that ass. Wow, that ball did not go down, but it's still very fast. Straw man. Oh, mama. Oh, my God. Come 
Donald Mitchell. He got all of that one. Oh. Hey, what would you rather be? A 458 foot homer or a hot dog? It's gone. Johnson getting touched. Matt Williams is turning on some pitches here. Hitting a lot of fouls. Hey! If you were a home run, would you hit yourself? I would. <laughs> would you rather be the most respected NES ranker in your field. <laughs> Bobby Thigpan time. He refuses to throw balls. Hundred. Oh, Wade Boggs, little slapper. Can they get something going? The American League. Well, Vance is the runner. Not gonna be able to get him. New pitcher. Let's go with Randy Myers. Not even gonna mess with that. Ricky going. We're gonna let Ricky get that. In your face. I am still on, bro. Counting down my number eight game here. RBI three. Got to throw in one. National League bringing the ruckus. Benito Santiago having a pretty good game. Benito reaches out and hits that one. It's a soft ground or a shortstop, though. The wizard. Oh, man. Struggle bus. All right. Bot nine. Randy Myers in the spot. Oof. Draws the walk. Bringing up Cecil Fielder. Oh no! An Ermer. Could have got him out. Now we still got, we got McGuire out here. Time for a new pitcher. It's time for Lee Smith. To come in and bring the ruckus. Get out of here. The straw man gets it done. Good game. Good game. Good game. All right. So then. 
think we drop. Then you change. Yeah, you take the game now. And let's talk about the last positive while we're getting set. So I think that this game is in consideration for the best overall gameplay for a baseball game. As far as just basic gameplay is good. So like for any baseball game ever, I think you have to include it in the discussion. Good luck for game two, Dan. So what I was thinking about is like, for instance, RBI Baseball 1 is good, but you can't dive, you can't do anything on defense. Then there's other games like Ken Griffey Jr., the Super Nintendo, and um, Extra Innings for the Super Nintendo that we really like, where you can do lots of cool stuff on defense. Um, but those games have issues. Ken Griffey Jr. presents has no errors, which is kind of makes it a little bit boring sometimes. And then, uh, like, Extra Innings doesn't have the real players. Um, Extra Innings, by the way, has the best gameplay, in my opinion. But you could say maybe RBI does because it's more realistic, perhaps. Uh, anyway, just any other baseball game. Like, if you go on, you could say the pitching gets a little bit boring because... Um, you know, if you're going up and down, if there's different zones you can do, it may you could people might say that the, that gets a little bit boring. They might be right. Uh oh, oh, there's no DH. Oh, all right. So where are we gonna put strawberry? All right. I guess the rule is I gotta take Dawson out for the straw man. Wow. Okay. Okay, wow. All right. Anyway, I just think uh, this game's really fun to play head to head. The gameplay is really good. The fact that you can only pitch on the one level or throw the fork ball that might drop and is unhittable. I think it's possible you can make the argument that it really never got better. You know, as just a, just a general baseball gameplay that's fun to play. I like the depth of the modern games, but this one's got better pacing. This one might be more fun. And it's fast. You know, if you're going to play a baseball game, it tends to take forever. Get him. Nice job, Oz. This game is fast. You just get it done. Just pitch it. Hit it. Move on with your life. Uh-oh. 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 Barry. Good start for the National League. Might beat this challenge, we'll see. Gotta beat Dan to beat the challenge. We'll see what happens. Zabrahagen. Hate to see it. Jake's Pizza Connection, hate to see it. Oh, he gets it through. Strawberry with the big at bat. Ooh, Sabrahaga starting to deal a little bit here. Wow, did not should not have swung at that pitch. Starting to swing at some real outside pitches. You've been saving them for a special occasion.
Uh oh. Mammoth shot. Foul. Oh, you watch as they go by. Oh, he bunted. Can't do that. Walking. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Oh, I was all over that, but Sabrahagans has got a nasty curve. Well, Clark with the little thunder here, but I think Griffey's going to get to that, no problem. get all synced up on that one. Oh. Shaky. Shaky's pizza. Alright, let's leave Frankie V in there a little bit longer. Mm. Ale bats. Not hot right now. So I'm kind of had a little something with that hit right there, but Scooped up by Matt Williams. Ricky Henderson is a problem. Ricky Henderson is a big problem, folks. That ball did not drop for Frankie V. And Ricky smashed it 391 feet over the left field fence. Defense, Ryan Sandberg out there with the glove. Get some. All right. Let's get a little, let's put a little heat on this guy here. Get Roberto Alomar in there. Bonds with a good AB here. Oh, expecting inside stuff. Sandberg rips it. Oh, stays in play somehow. Wow. <laughs> Strawberry hits that a million miles behind him. Oh, brutal. Brutal. Where are we going? Ramon Martinez. Get some.
Griffey with the peener. Major peen action. Uh oh. Cecil with the poke. It's gone. It's gone. Gets the end of the bat on it, and it's gone. Ramon, come on, you big dork. Just barely says Dan. Yikes. League takes the edge here. Oh, got a hold of that one, but bash right at the pitcher. Mm, Sob Rockets are in that gas. Learned his lesson. Oh, Clemens is just chilling on the bench. Wow. Yeah, there we go. It's a double. Clemens got some speed to his pitch. <laughs> Missed it. I thought it was going to be fastball. Clements could be a problem. Ooh, what do you do here? He's taking him out. He's got options, he thinks. Ellis Burks. Hard to get Ricky out. Could still bring in Welch if he wants, or Finley. Go with Jones. Jones is pretty dope. Oh, nice play from the second baseman. Wow. Be trouble. It's not. Not at all. Hmm. Second baseman coming up big here. He's coming up big over here. He's coming up big. Didn't move. Ramon has got the goods. That's a lot of first.
Oh! Got him. Oh, that sucks. Sandberg, big pop, but right in third basement. Oh my goodness. Really don't want to f around with Kevin Mitchell. Jones is kind of running out of gas. Just FYI. Shouldn't have left him in. Matt Williams get some. Be leaving these guys in just a minute too long. Dougie Jones, learn about it. That Will Clark, though. Struggle. Whoa! Didn't know Ramon could do that. Julio Franco. He's got Gruber. Julio Franco, though. That's the guy you want. Julio Franco. Got a little rally happening here. Go rips it. Get down. Oh my goodness. Griffey with the chance to do damage here. I was just trying to give him the base. Struck out. 3-3! Three, three. Challenge on the line. American League nationally. Good game alert. Can't use stat. Yeah. Big Pen Eckersley. Who's it going to be? Oh, not the Eck. Eck is just disaster on this game. 0.61 ERA. For real? Heck is hard. Come on, Oz. Yes. Okay. 
Out of total disaster. Oh. Okay. All right. Fred Meyer on Aurora Avenue at 185th. Okay. I've been to that Fred Meyer. All right. All right. All right. Who are we going to go with here? 3-3 three, three game. Wow. All right. Probably just going to go. Let's go with Brantley again. Got a bunt. No chance. That's a smoke screen. That was a little off the money. Cecil Fielder. Oh my God! Wow, good hitting. Good hitting from Dan. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Beaten, I think I've beaten McGuire twice this game. I should have took him out. All right, need to get a run somehow. That's uh, accuracy is a problem. Wow, jumped all over that one. Hit a zillion miles. straw man all right might go third game here mm. Mm. leaving leaving Eck in there Is the toughest, there's no doubt about it. Oh, my gosh! Let's see if we can get a run here. Bottom of ninth. He's got some good hitters up. He's got the Thigger. The Thigger? That's not, that's not a good nickname. Santiago, the last chance. Took a gamble there. All right, I guess we're good. <laughs> Got another one in you, Dan? We're going best two out of three for the challenge. Here we 
go. Taking it down to the final game. American League, National League. Hey, man, thanks for watching, everybody. This is what we do here. We play RBI baseball to the wee hours. Let's see here. Why is this not working? National League versus American League. Here we go. It's going with Welsh. Dennis Martinez takes them out. Not sure. Maybe I did put Dykstra in back in the day. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to stick with the lineup. It's been pretty juicy. Keep Santiago out of there, in there, just because. Yeah. Strong man, baby. Let's go. All right, final game for RBI 3, and then a wrap-up message. Welsh got a little outside curve to him. Bonds hits it a ways, but not out. Nice pitch, but should probably not try to get away with that. one. Wow. Welsh dealing. <sighs> Pretty good start for the American League, if I must say. Ricky Anderson, this is the guy you really just don't want to deal with. Thank goodness. Hit it right to the pitcher. Can actually get him out. Okay. There's like somewhat of a glitch there. Griffey in the three hole. Okay. Okay, it's very intense, man. I'm telling you. This is just camp. This is just the funnest game to play head to head. I meant most fun. He's in a bit of a rhythm here with Welsh. That'll help. Dawson's gonna make that. Dawson got a little bit of speed to him, which is very helpful towards the cause. Meh. Oh my goodness, what is that? Why is it so crappy? Cal not bringing the ruckus.
Get through. Nope. Nope. really coming to the party just yet. Ooh, the painter. That's why they call him the painter. I'll just take that. Leo Franco. Franco. Hmm, he missed it. Looked like he had it. He missed it. Nice pitch. The strong man. Yeah, time for a new pitcher, son. Jumped and caught it. Wow. Guy's the freaking man. Oh. Could be a double. Could, we be, could this be the start of something for the National League? That was two outs. Didn't need to be tagging up. Got him. Dennis Martinez, who was known to have a Big old thing of chew. Oh, stays in. And Dennis Martinez is doing doing the work out here. He's doing the work. Go. <laughs> Meh. Meh. There it is. Benito with the double, maybe. First, I think I had it anyway. Pitcher. We're going with Brantley. 
Even though I got touched up in the last game. American League struggling to get it going here. Pitching has been pretty good. Welp. Need to get some runs, though. up the no-no. That was dumb. <laughs> the nasty boys get the nod for me. Big turd. New picture alert. Johnson, Johnson and Johnson. Johnson's got heat. Ooh. All right, we're still battling here.
Oh. He gets it. That was supposed to be a fastball. It didn't go fast at all. It sucked. Challenge not defeated unless I can get a run here. McGuire with the bomb. Bottom eight. Huh. Oh no. Nice. All right. Need to get a run somehow though. It's a problem. Big problem. Got some good hitters up to bat, though. He's bringing in the yak. It's a good call. Sandberg battling. Man, he got me. What a debacle. I was dominating that game, except not really. I didn't have that many hits, but that was a little unfair. American League wins two best two out of three, and I went all that way to get to the ninth inning of the last game to not beat the challenge. So that's over two on the RBIs. For those that stuck around, they got to see that RBI 3 is fun to play against somebody. Very fun, in fact. And um, that's why it's so high. Because that's all that really matters. Uh, playing one-player games is really, really fun. Playing two-player games is way more fun. So that's a big part of these rankings. I need to play some of these other games two-player to really get the taste. Like Blades of Steel. You know, there's a lot of games that I played one player, it was pretty fun, Blades of Steel, things like that. You should definitely do my challenge. Um, yeah, long night of RBI baseball. I, I got to give these games their due, though. This is number eight, fam. I don't think it's going to drop that far, honestly, even though the first part of the stream was admittedly a bit of a debacle, uh, and there was some bad sausage that was displayed. But shout out to Dan for hooking it up. Looked like I was kind of... I don't know. It looked like I was going to take care of business there. I was really dealing, pitching there that last game. But then Mark McGuire he got a hold of one. He had a whole four hits in that game, but I only had six. So, or maybe he had five hits. I don't know. It was a good game. Good battles. All three games were very good. And that is what typically happened in these battles. We would have these excellent games. And that is what heightened this game to number eight for me. Oh, I get it. Those are not singles. Those are just hits. So we each had three hits, which is not very good. All right. Yeah, I get it now. Cool. Dan, thanks for hanging it out. Or hey, thanks for uh, hanging into this whole debacle of the stream. Um, <laughs> well, we'll see what happens the rest of the way. Um, but I don't know. I still really like RBI 3 a lot. It's fun to play against a human. The computer, I don't know. It's it's not as bad as I made it look. There was so much soft, weak hits. I think it's still pretty fun to play the computer even. Uh, this was just a bit of a debacle. I think the problem is you can't play with the crappy teams. The crappy teams is not fun fun stuff. Playing with all-star teams is, is it's what I'm used to, and I think it's just more fun that way. It just is. you got to play with the good teams. I think that's the only way you can really... Um, 
<laughs> yeah, I said hanging it out. Okay, it's time to go to bed. Thanks for watching, everybody. The countdown has made it all the way to number eight. Now we only got seven games left. Holy crap, Ola. Whew. Hope we have some fun with the last seven. This was fun enough for me, even though, man, there was some hilarity with those early games. I had fun. I like this game. I could play it all night, and I damn near did. Thanks for watching once again. We out. See you around the way for more action. Peace for now. Let's play this baseball game. This baseball song one more time as on our way out here. One more sausage for the road. Yeah, it's taking a little bit longer than I hoped. Perfect amount of sausage. Why is my computer just a big penis today? Huh. What a great stream. What a bad just what a bad what a bunch of bad choices. Including hanging that. Including hanging that that pitch out there from Mark McGuire to smash. Everybody enjoy the baseball season. Hope it invokes many memories of the good times when we were kids and this stuff was just awesome. So down on the corner the national pastime went on trial. We're talking baseball. Klazuski, Campanella, talking baseball. The man and Bobby Pella. Yeah, Greg Olson, the Braves catcher, is on my team. They knew him all from Boston to Dubuque. Especially when... Yeah, Doug Jones played for the Indians back then. I think he mostly played for the, played for the Tigers. Uh, yeah, that's Greg Olson. So we each have a Greg Olson. Yeah, Greg Olson, the relief pitcher for the Orioles. A lot of Greg Olsons in the mix. All right.